What's up everybody, it is Dan Cam, you know, and I am back with another video. And what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you how to install each of the fans in an HP Omen 25L or 30L. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that the majority of the fans in my case are these Noctua Slim fans. And this is the Chromax version, which basically just means that it is all black. And the fans that I went with are the same ones, Chromax, but they are the X25s, which basically means that they are about double the width and they push quite a bit more air and they're also a little bit more quiet. Um, so I wanted to do an updated video on how to install all these fans and where to plug them into, especially since it seems like a lot of people are getting omens for Christmas this year and I've been getting a lot of traction on my old fan install videos. So I just wanted to do a video that covered how to install all of them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into it. So we are going to start with the bracket that is at the top of the case and it is held in with two Phillips head screws. And there is the first screw and there is the second screw. And I'd highly recommend using a magnetic screwdriver to get these out because these screws are very small and the position they're in, um, once you get them fully unscrewed, it's very possible that for them to drop and they're very easy to misplace. So a magnetic tip screwdriver works very well. So I went ahead and removed the screw on the right. Now I'm removing the second screw. And now the bracket is loose with the fan. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug the fan from the Y-split connector. So there is the stock bracket with my slim 120 millimeter fan. And there are the four screws that hold it on. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing those. When you get your Omen, the bracket is going to have four squares attached, as you see. And you're just going to want to lightly press each of those squares out. It doesn't take much pressure, but just go ahead and remove those squares before attaching a fan. And even if you aren't planning on installing a fan at the top, removing that bracket will actually lower your temperatures down a few Celsius because that bracket basically blocks all airflow from traveling upward and out of the case. So the fan is loose now from the bracket and I'm grabbing the new one and you can kind of see a size comparison between the two. It's almost double the width. So you can see why they push a little bit more air because each of the blades on the fan are bigger. And one thing that really annoyed me with these new Noctua fans that I got, normally they come with anti-vibration pads and normally they're all black, but for some reason this only came with four per fan. So basically I have four on the other side and then I had to use a different color for this side. So luckily this red side isn't visible because I'm trying to keep my PC all black. So it was a little annoying because all of the other Chromax fans actually come with the enough anti-vibration pads to cover both sides. All right, so now I'm tightening each of the screws on the fan. And what you wanna do is just apply equal pressure to each side and just make sure they go in evenly. And I believe it was this one I have a little bit of trouble with getting to go in straight. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, that's going in kind of strange. So I kind of reposition the bracket and the screw and then just start over. So I just go through each one and tighten it in a kind of uniform sequence a few turns at a time until the fan is tight. So there is our new fan attached to the bracket. And we're going to go ahead and put this back in. This was a little difficult to do. I would probably recommend plugging in the fan once it's already in, but the position for my connector makes that a little bit difficult when it's installed. So I kind of have to hold the fan with one hand and then um, plug it in with the other. So I got it plugged in. And how you're gonna do this is you're gonna grab one of your small screws and put it into the screwdriver and get this ready. And then you're gonna get one side threaded in, but not tight. And the reason you don't want to have it tight is you want to,
be able to make sure the bracket can move slightly so you can position it so you can get the other screw in. So you can see I move it up slightly right there and I get it lined up and then I start getting the other screw threaded in. And I'm gonna make sure these are both tight. And they don't have to be super tight, but tight enough so it will not move. So let's go ahead and move on to the rear fan. And it's probably the most simple fan on the PC, but it basically is held in with these four screws right here. And you're just gonna loosen all four of those. And I'm not replacing mine right now because mine's already the normal width one. And I'm gonna go over this later in the video, but you can see that the rear fan is plugged in right there to my Y-split cable. And then the top fan is plugged into the other leg of the Y-split cable and they are both plugged into the header where the rear fan is normally plugged into. But I'm gonna go ahead and go over that later in the video, so stick around. And right here, I'm just making sure the cables look clean. Try to do as much cable management as I can with the room that is offered in these Omens because unfortunately there isn't much. And if you've ever had the back panel off, there just isn't a whole lot of room to hide cables and all the power supply cables are exposed down below, so try to make it as neat as possible. All right, so here I am disconnecting the bottom fan and getting this out of there. And you can see how much fan builds up right there. Excuse me, fan. How much dust builds up below that bottom fan. So I just take a microfiber and I clean it out the best I can. So just remember that dust builds up super easily in these PCs, so a can of compressed air goes a very long way. So you just want to open up the side panel once in a while and just kind of blow out all the dust or get a microfiber and you can um, just clean it up while you're being careful. So here I'm just kind of see how I'm routing all these cables. And right there I had an extra extension cable that I took out of the case that I'm not going to need anymore. And I'm just kind of looking at how to wire this in as clean as possible. So I'm trying to have this cable as out of the way as I can. And I'm kind of just plugging in and seeing how everything's looking. And everything seemed like it looks good. So I'm satisfied with it. So I unplug it. And the front fan is held in with double-sided tape. And you can see that ring of dust right there where the fan was. So I go ahead and get that clean with a microfiber. And then I'm going to show you how I attach the double-sided tape to the new fan. But I basically use Gorilla double-sided tape, and it's very strong. But actually, it comes off pretty easily for most metal surfaces. So I'm basically going to cut these little triangles and I'm going to attach it to the top two corners of the fan. So there's one side. And like I was saying, these come with anti-vibration pads. So you'll see at the closest to me, you'll see the two black pads. And I point to the pad right there, and this side doesn't have it. I left them off on that side because the double-sided tape is kind of going to act as the anti-vibration pads. So I get another triangle cut here and put it on this side. And probably the biggest pain in the butt is getting the plastic off so it reveals the adhesive underneath. And I normally don't have fingernails, so this was tougher than it looks. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and attach it to the case. And 92 millimeter fans just have this little tiny air, uh, little area that they fit into perfectly. And then I just kind of just press it into place and make sure the double sided tape's sitting flushly up there. So let's go ahead and move on to the bottom fan. And the way that I install this into the case is wedged in between the power supply right there and that cable management bracket. So I do not use adhesive at the bottom or anything. I just basically wedge it in there. And I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. And these normal width fans don't 
fit as well as the slim versions. You can see that the anti-vibration pad back there is getting kind of scrunched up. So you'll see me reach back there and just try to get it to sit as nicely as possible. But that fan, which is 120 millimeters, is just wedged between the power supply and that bracket. And the fan to the right of it is an 80 millimeter fan. And that's actually just sitting as is. And it doesn't make any sounds. Doesn't make any weird vibrations. And it works perfect right next to the 120. So the computer booted up with no issues. And all fans are working as intended. And I know I went over it a little bit in the video, but I wanted to fully go over how to hook up all the fans in your Omen, depending on what configuration you have, because I know mine's going to be pretty unique. So I want to go over what it would be like for each configuration. And first, I want to start off with the CPU cooler, because obviously this is not the stock CPU cooler. The stock cooler has an 80 millimeter fan attached to it and I made a full tutorial on replacing that 80 millimeter fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that down in the description. And I'm also put it in the top right for you to check out. And then I also have a tutorial on installing this air cooler that I have attached, which has a 92 millimeter on the front and a 92 millimeter on the back. So those will be down in the description. But when you get your Omen, you're going to have a stock rear 92 millimeter fan and it is going to be plugged into the system fan header over there and just say you are planning on installing the 120 millimeter fan to the top bracket the best way to hook up this top fan is with a y-split cable and you can see one leg of the y-split cable is going into my rear fan and the other leg of the Y-split cable is going into my top mount fan. While in the video I had before, I had the top mount fan plugged into my LC pump slot, which is okay, but the LC pump will basically spin the fan at 100% all the time. So the fan's probably gonna be a little bit noisy, but when it is Y split with the rear fan, it's going to spin at the motherboard um, speed that it specifies. So it will spin at the same speed as the rear 92 millimeter fan. So that's the best way to hook up the top 120 millimeter fan. And just say you are planning on running the bottom fan, the best way to hook this up is you're gonna find the header entitled front fan four and you're going to go ahead and plug it into this and your motherboard may be a little bit different it may say ch4 fan so you're going to want to plug it into there and a lot of you 30l omen owners have a front fan and that is plugged into the ch4 fan and i would recommend y splitting that front fan on the 30ls with the bottom fan so that is the best way to hook up the bottom fan. And then my setup's a little bit different because I have this Noctua fan controller and it's basically powering the bottom two and the front fan without being plugged into the motherboard. I basically use the SATA cable that's supposed to be for an extra hard drive and it is now powering the fan controller and powering these three fans. So yeah, that's the best way to hook up all of these fans. And like I said, you can use the LC pump header, but it's the fan's gonna be extremely noisy because the fan's spinning at 100%, and I'd only recommend the LC pump slot if you are running a liquid cooler. So that fan will be attached to the radiator on a 120 millimeter AIO. But yep, that's gonna do it as far as all of the fans in the case. And then I'll go ahead and link down in the description all the cables that I use and the fans that I use. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. And like always, if you have any questions or concerns, to please comment down below. 
And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I didn't cover all of the fans that are in my Omen 25L case, specifically the fans that are attached to my CPU cooler, because I've already done a full tutorial on how to install the CPU cooler and the two fans that are attached to it. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and go down to the description and I'll go ahead and link that video there. And then I also didn't cover how to change the 80 millimeter fan that's attached to the stock CPU cooler because I no longer have that one in my case right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and link the video where I changed that fan and you can feel free to check it out if you're interested. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all in the next one.